Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. Um, it's good to see you today. Okay, Jonathan, you cannot turn on your camera. Okay, I understand. Well, everyone, it's good to see you again in a new class. Today we have a new class. And can you tell me what day is today? What day is today? Can you tell me? Wednesday. Exactly, it's Wednesday. Exactly, very nice. Wednesday. And the date, the complete date. September. Wednesday, September 21. Okay, it's, it's uh, September, September, Wednesday. I'm sorry, Wednesday, September 21st. When we uh, talk about uh, dates, we use ordinal numbers, okay? Remember that we use ordinal numbers. Yes, but thank you so much for your participation. So let me show you, let me show you um, the presentation. Give me a moment, in this moment. Please let me know if you can see my screen. Can you see the screen? The presentation? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, yes, Wednesday, September 21st, 2022, it's class number 10. The topic is full vocabulary. We are going to continue learning about count and non count nouns, how to use the expression some and any. And also, you will learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. And you will practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Okay, so we'll talk about different breakfasts around the world. People eat different things in different countries. Salvadorian breakfast is different as Chinese breakfast, right? So we're going to see that today. So these are the activities. First, we have a recall in previous class. Then we have a conversation practice. What do we need? Then we have different breakfasts around the world. And finally, the wrap up. Okay, but before we start with this, I need to take the attendance. So don't forget, guys, to say present or here, okay? So we're going to start with Daniel Isaac Quintanilla. I'm here, coach. Thank you. Daniela Magali. Present. Micho. Micho. Okay, Daniela, thank you. What about, eh, tell me, Arely. Present. Thank you, Elmi. Gabriela Vigay, sorry, Esmeralda Elizabeth. Esmeralda Elizabeth. Okay. Mm, Gabriela Vigay Larriaza. Present. Thank you, Gabi. Jacqueline Vanessa. Okay, she's not in the class today. Ga Jocelyn Gabriela Martinez Martinez. Present. Thank you, Jocelyn. Jonathan Vladimir Salinas. Present. Thank you, Jonathan. Okay, he's not. Karen Elizabeth Carpio. Present. Thank you, Karen. Margarita Elizabeth Panameño. Okay. Eh, Mar yes. Sorry, Catherine Yasmin, Guatemala. Present. Thank you, Catherine. Uh, Mayra Areli. I'm here. Thank you, Mayra. Nimian Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Nimian. Victoria Ingrid. Present. Thank you, Victoria. Jancy Melanie. Present. Thank you, Jancy. Jeremy Lisbeth Lopez. Presente. Okay, thank you everybody for your attendance on this day. 
Okay, so let's continue with today's class. Okay, for recalling previous class, we have um, an exercise online. Okay, so I will share the exercise. Okay, Margarita, you just came. Okay, in this exercise, we have count and non-count nouns. Remember that count nouns can be singular and plural. They can have a, a or an before them, singular nouns. And most plural count nouns have an S or ES ending. We have some examples, an airplane, airplanes, bus, buses, one wolf, three wolves, radio, radios, hero, heroes, city, a city, cities, a day, days. Non-count nouns are always singular. They have no plural form, no S or ES ending. For example, ice, ice, soccer, history, ball. Most non-count nouns name an item made up of smaller of different parts. Homework, transportation. Some non-count nouns name abstract things such as ideas, feelings, and concepts, happiness, health and education okay abstract things that we can know can we cannot say educations or happinesses right it's not correct they are singular and when it says here that non-count nouns name an item made out of smaller parts for example homework you can have homework from english subject from math from science from other subjects, but overall, it's, it's only homework, okay? You don't say homeworks, it's only homework. And the same with transportation. In general, they can be about private buses or, um, uh, let's see, uh, sea transportation, etc. but in general. And we have some examples here to practice for each food below, select whether it is a count or non-count noun. So I will share with you the, the link so that if you can do it, if you can do it, do it, okay? If not, pay attention here during the class and we're gonna do it together. You are going to help me. For example, bread. Bread is count or non count? No count. Okay. Juice? It's not count. Okay. Burger. Count. It's count. count. Because we, how many burgers do you eat? Oh, I only eat one, or maybe you can eat two or three burgers. What about jam? Count. It's non count. Okay, in general, it's non count. But you can say four jars, four jars of jam. Okay, four jars of jam. But just the jam is non count. Okay, meat. What is meat? Count or non count? Count. Meat is non count. Okay, non count. Yes, but we can we can measure the meat with when we say one pound, una libra, right? One pound or one kilogram. Salad? No count. No count. Okay, but we can say two salads, three salads, so they are count. Okay, rice? No count. No count. Milk? No count. No count, yes. Remember all the liquids. Apple? No count. 
Town. Exactly. Town. Town. Exactly. Cookie, cookie, cereal. No count. Exactly. No count. Soup. No count. No count. No. Guys, I just let me see. Okay. Butter. No count. No count. Okay. Count. Count. Fish. Count. It's no count. Well, or individual, mm -hmm. yes, but in general is no count. <laughs> but sometimes, okay, it's like it's like salad. It's like salad. I found this information about salad. It's uncountable when raw vegetables like lettuce, tomato, cucumber are mixed together. But salad is countable when one serving of salad or the particular type of salad. Example, the waiter asked me if I order the green salad or the Greek. Salad. So in that case, it's uncountable. Okay. So fish okay. would say count or non count. Let's see. Fish. It depends. If you mean the animal, the animal is count. But if it's the food, it's non count. Coffee? No count. No count. Orange? Count. Count. Sugar? No count. Okay. No count. No count. No count. But we can say a kilogram of cheese or ounces of cheese. No count. It's no count, exactly. Egg? Count. 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 Water. No count. count. Exactly. Count. No count. Exactly. Yes. Okay. And we are going to leave this exercise here, but you can complete this exercise in the um at home okay because of the time we or maybe we can do this one okay select the 11 singular count nouns in the paragraph below it says what do professional athletes eat in a day lebron james is a basketball player he tries to eat three meals and a lot of protein on game days for breakfast lebron eats an omelette with taro and pancakes with berries for lunch, he eats pasta and vegetables before the game. He has a sandwich and apples with almond butter. After a game, he drinks a protein shake made from almond milk and some fruit. For dinner, he eats a salad. Okay, there are 11 count nouns. Count nouns, nouns that you can count and they can be singular or plural. Can you tell me what are the 11? Okay, athletes is one. They. Okay, they. Three meals. Brace. Brace. Sandwich. Okay. Sandwich. Basketball player is also count. Apples. Apples. Vegetable. Pass. 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 I'm sorry. Apples, pasta, protein. pasta is not count. Protein, protein. salad, omelette, salad. Okay, okay, omelette. Game. Okay. 
Vegetables. Berries. Salad. Vegetables. Game. And Breakfast. Salad. Let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And there are only eleven. Well, we'd say that the word game is repeat. Game. I think, Omelie, sorry. Game, lo eligió dos veces, teacher. Game, yes. Maybe it's only one. <laughs> okay. Ah, but game, game is comfortable. Look, look, it says select the 11 singular, singular count now, so only singular. Only singular, we are going to uh, delete the plural because it's only, it only says singular, okay? They, um, omelette, Al um, almond, but no, um, yeah. almond. protein shake, yes, the, ah, but it's liquid. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we got, I think, breakfast. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and salmon, eleven. Okay. Now here we have 13 plural nouns, plural, 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 plural. Okay, for example, it says, Tom Brady is a football player. His diet is a little different than LeBron James, right? When he wakes up, right? When he wakes up, he drinks a smoothie. His smoothie contains blueberries, bananas, nuts, and seeds. For lunch, he often eats some fish and lots of vegetables. He also eats some snacks throughout the day. His snacks include protein bars, fruits such as grapes, bananas or apples, chips and guacamole, hummus or raw vegetables. Okay, in this case, they have to be plural, plural nouns. Blueberries. Blueberries, okay. Bananas. Bananas, no. No. Vegetables, snacks, snacks. Great. Protein bars, grapes, bananas, apples, chips, yeah. and vegetables again. Okay, so let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Excellent. It was easier to identify the plural nouns. Okay. Very nice. And in this all other exercise, we have only seven non counts. For example, it says Roger Rafferer is one of the greatest tennis players out of time. He begins his day with waffles and side up and some cereal. He washes that down with coffee and some juice. Two hours before every match, Federer. It's pasta with tomato sauce. Bananas are his go-to snack. Sometimes he treats himself to some dessert. He likes a few scoops of ice cream or a chocolate bar, okay? So there are seven known count nouns over here. George. Syria, Saidu. Joyce. Pasta. Pasta. Coffee. Coffee. Ice cream. Juice. Tomato sauce. Okay. Desert. And juice. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, okay, coffee, juice, pasta, tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. There are only seven. 
I think you, I think this is plural. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. You can continue this. It says select the correct singular, plural, or non tone noun. Hello, I'll be your waiter. What can I get for you today? Hola, seré tu mesero. Okay. ¿Qué puedo ofrecerte este día? Yes, I'll have an iced tea or iced teas. What is the correct? Te helado. Iced tea. Iced tea. Iced tea. And I'll have a lemonade or lemonades. Lemonade. 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 Remember, all the drinks and liquids are non brown. And to eat, I'll the roast beef or the roast beefs. The roast beef. 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 Roast beef. Mashed potato or mashed potatoes. Mash potato. Potatoes. Potatoes. Okay. And B or beef? Beef. Beef. Okay. They are those green things. We don't we don't usually eat here in America. I have the I have the fish or the fishes? Fish. 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 So, 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 so. And a salad. And a salad. Okay. Very nice. So let's check. Wow, excellent. You did a great job. Wow, guys, I see that you are very intelligent. Very intelligent. Excellent. You understood the topic of count and non count. Now, sometimes it's a little bit complicated for some students, but it was not for you. So, congrats. Okay, let's continue with activity number two conversation practice. How about some sandwiches? We have a conversation between Adam and Amanda. So I need two volunteers to read the conversation. I need one Adam and one Amanda. Volunteers? Five, four, three, two, one. We have two participants, Victoria and the other. Then, I'm sorry, Victoria. Today, we're going to give the opportunity to Jancy okay. and Delmi. Okay, Victoria, because you had it yesterday. Thank oh. you, Jancy and Delmi. Jancy, you're going to be Adam. And, and Delmi, you're going to be Amanda. Please. What do you do want for the picnic? Um, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Ladies, get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Every young likes potato salad. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Very nice. Excellent. Please, applauses for Delmi and Jancy. Okay, so they are talking about what they need for the picnic, right? What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator. They have a complete chicken, <laughs> but we don't have any bread and we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade and let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone mm. likes potato salad. 
So as you can see, they are talking about food and they are using some and any. Remember some, we can use it for a count or non-count nouns, like in this case, some sandwiches, some chicken. Sandwiches is plural, is count. And chicken is non-count, but we can use some, some sandwiches, some chicken. And any is used in negative sentences and in questions. Like here, we don't have any bread. We don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? Okay. And we have summarized these in the following slide. Some and any count and non-count nouns. Okay. And we have... I explained this yesterday, les expliqué esto ayer, pero lo he, lo he vuelto a poner aquí, recuerden. Some significa algo o algunos, y lo podemos usar solamente en afirmativo, pero lo podemos utilizar tanto para contables como no contables. Any solamente se utiliza en negativo y en preguntas. Y se utiliza en ambas, se puede utilizar para contables y para no contables. ¿Sí? ¿Alguna duda con esta? Me encantó ayer que me dieron varios ejemplos y estuvieron perfectos. Usando some and any. Ahora, using there is and there are, a, uh, and, some and any. A and am are only used with countable nouns in singular. For example, there is a plum, there is an apple, there is an orange, there is an elephant, there is a computer, there is a book, there is a student. Okay? Some is used with countables and uncountables, but in affirmative sentences. For example, there is some sugar, there are some apples. Any with countables and uncountables, but only negative in questions. There isn't any sugar. There aren't any apples. Is there any sugar? Are there any apples? Okay. Okay. And now, I want you to work in small groups and you are going to plan to eat something. Okay, you are going to make lunch or dinner or breakfast, you choose if you want to make breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And let's say, what do we need to buy? ¿Qué necesitamos comprar? Okay, that is the topic of the, of the conversation. You can say, hey, Daniel, let's make some tacos. Okay, or hey, Gabriela, let's make some pupusas. Or Mayra, let's make some chicken soup. Okay, yes, what do we need to buy? And you have to say, think about the things you have in this moment in your house. Uh, you can say, I have some tomatoes and onions, but I don't have tortillas. I don't have any tortillas for tacos and I don't have any meat. We need to buy. We need to buy some meat and some um, tortillas, okay? And you can say, let's get some drinks and so on, similar to the previous conversation, to this conversation, okay? So I will send you into groups and I will send you these questions so that you can, in your group, create a conversation about something that you want to eat, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Okay, these are some ideas, tacos, pupusas, and chicken soup is an idea. But you can make any other thing you want. If you want to make fish or, I don't know, maybe burritos or a barbecue or other things, chicken wings, I don't know, whatever you want, it's up to you. Okay, so we're gonna work in groups of three. Eh, coach, antes que nos vayamos. Este, y así como esa pregunta, ¿qué necesitamos comprar? Yo no puedo utilizar el verbo one. Yo quiero. Eh, yo quiero. Sí se puede. Yo quiero. I want uh, a shirt. 
Oh, T-shirts? Sí, no. sí puede. Yes, but in this conversation, I want you to talk about food. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. so maybe you can say, oh, I want some drinks. I want some drinks. You can say, okay, let's buy some beers or let's buy some sodas. Okay. Okay. Okay, very nice. Let's work, please. Teacher, a mí me sacó eh, y creo que fue cuando envió a sala. Ya no me apareció el mensajito. Ahorita la asigno. Gracias. Escuchar ahorita. <risa> ¿Por qué, compañero? Es que tengo un bebé. Está bien desesperado. Un bebé que está aprendiendo inglés también. Ahí estaba pues sí, quiere participar. <risa> si gustan, yo las escucho y, y si puedo más ratito, entonces las metimos. Espérame. Ok. Daniela. Eh, sería what um, what do we need to buy? Eh, I need drinks. Primero tiene que elegir si van a qué es lo que van a crear una conversación donde van a hacer una comida. Entonces tienen que elegir qué comida quieren hacer. Primero eso. ¿Qué comida quieren hacer? What do you want? Mm. ¿Ah? Y luego, entonces, por ejemplo, van a decir, hey, hey, Ninian, let's make some pizzas. Ok. What ingredients do we need? Or what ingredients do we have? Entonces, luego van a ver uh -huh. qué ingredientes tienen y cuáles no tienen y cuáles necesitan comprar. Pero todo en inglés, ¿ok? <risa> ok. Pueden sí. seguir el ejemplo de la conversación. Se les acuerdo. Les, se los envié al WhatsApp. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some pupusas? Okay, have some beans and in the refrigerator, but we don't have any cheese, for example, for example. okay? And, uh -huh. and we don't have any corn flour, de maíz. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some sodas and let's buy some curtido, right? Or tomato sauce. Okay? Yeah? You got yes. it? Yes. Okay. I know you're going to do it very nice. Bueno. Okay. I need, I need, okay, neces okay. yo necesito. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, come on. I need to buy. Is correct, teacher? 
Yes, it's correct. I need to buy. It's correct. I say it's complete and I need to buy. I need to buy is chicken. I need to buy some chicken. Some chicken and vegetable. Oh, come on. Vegetable. Y otro ejemplo podría ser ya usándolo en negativo. A ver si me sale. Sería I don't need eh, any eh, chicken, teacher. ¿Está bien? We don't need any chicken, yes. Yes. Okay. Podría ser I don't know, I don't need any cream. I don't need any cheese, butter. You can uh, follow the, conver the 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 example conversation. En el ejemplo que les envié en el WhatsApp, ahí, ahí en la conversación, pueden seguir el ejemplo, solo le tienen que cambiar los ingredientes. Oh, ok. Todo de, ¿Qué comida van a hacer? Eh, what do you need to buy? También les envié otro, el, el ejemplo de... De la conversación, conversation practice, how about some sandwiches? What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some pupusas? Or how about some tacos? Or how about some, eh, some nachos? Okay. Try to follow the example, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Tell me si quiere le pregunto. Onions? Oh, onions? Con mucho gusto. Teacher. <laughs> yes. ¿Cómo se pronuncia vinagre? Vinegar. Vinegar. Thank you. You're welcome. Vinegar. What are you going to make? What food are you going to make? Pupusas. Pupusas, okay. I love pupusas. Y la pronunciación de repollo para el curtido. Ah, it's cabbage. 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 Okay. Oh. Oh, Mm -hmm. I need or I want? Sí, I want. Ajá. Por ejemplo, mm. I want eggs, I want bananas, I want bread. Uh -huh. Ajá. Sí. I want apples. Ajá. Uh -huh. Solamente. Okay. Yeah, por ejemplo, I'm sorry. Remember you have to make um, a, you have to make some food. Van a, van a preparar una comida. Uh -huh. Están viendo los ingredientes que les hacen falta. Tienen que especificar. Ah, okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahí sí sería, I need that. I need. Uh -huh. 
para pupusas, I need beans, onions, oil, and cheese. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, exactly. I have beans, oil, and onions. I omelette. Uh, let's make some coffee. And let's make and so some milk. Eh, yeah. Eh, pero para hacer, o sea, what do you need to buy? O sea, comprar para hacer. Ah, pero... ¿Qué sería chicken, eh, paper? Eh, mm, ok. Y, ajá. Eh, tortillas para tacos. No sé cómo se dice, pero. Tortillas. Tortillas. Por tacos. Tortillas. Bueno. Entonces le voy a hacer yo la pregunta, porque si ando un poco perdido, como no me acaba de chance de regresar a la clase de ayer. Let's make some pupusas. What do we need to buy? Catherine. Right, pero harina de arroz, ¿cómo sería? Rice flour. Rice, Rice flour. flour. Rice flour. Um, tomato, pepper. And bean, cheese, and... pork. Yeah. ¿Cómo es chicharrón? Pork, 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 <laughs> pork. Eh, ¿Cómo se? El repollo. ¿Cómo es? Cabbage. Cabbage. Chicken. Red chicken. Red chicken. Cabbage. Cabbage. And onion. Um, sería masa de para masa eh, de masa flour corn flour corn flour corn flour Okay, very nice. Let's make the chefs and the cooks we have in the class. Uh, I would like a group, volunteer group, to present their conversation. One group that would like to present their conversation. Okay, teacher. Let me let me some pupusas. What do we need to buy? Uh, we need some tomatoes with some a uh, green pepper. With some onions. We any floor? We don't any floor. No, we don't any floor. We we need corn. Okay. I need pork right now. Chicharrón. We buy some fish. We need I have, garlic. I, I, um, I have been. Okay. Hello. Hola, hola. That's it. Uh, we need cabbage. Uh, we need some garlic. Ah, we need some sushlantro.
Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you. We are going to eat pupusas, okay? <laughs> okay. Free, free for you. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 What about another group? Delmi? Another group? Yeah. Volunteers or victims? Another group? Daniela's group with Ninian. And I think Margarita was the other No terminamos. We didn't finish. Okay, any other group? Another group? Vidal? Or Jonathan's group. Okay. Okay, Vidal. I have a problem my my connection. You have problems with your connection. Okay, you can try. Okay. Uh, as you May I ask you a question? Sí, Vidal, casi no se le, se le queda el video y el audio. A las fallas de... Bueno, eh, I hope that you... Um, that you have practiced with your group. Okay, because this is the important thing that you practice your English. Okay, you practice. Sí, es que tengo, tengo problemas. Yeah, we, we can notice that. Don't worry. Okay, do we have any other group or we continue with the class? The more you practice, the better for you, remember. Okay, no more volunteers. Okay, so let's continue with the class. And the, the other topic is different breakfasts around the world. And we this conversation is fish for breakfast. Let's see what Sara and Kumiko has to say. Sara, let's has let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really, what do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Well, Japanese people have fish for breakfast. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Do, would you like to try? Never, never eat fish for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so different people around the world have eat different things during the breakfast. In some countries, for example, South America, people have soup in the morning. Other people only have something very light, like coffee, 
in a biscuit or something like that. So the homework is this. We are going to investigate a popular dish or breakfast in another country. You are going to mention the ingredients, okay? So in this moment, you have to choose a country. I want you to choose different countries, not the same. And you will explain what the breakfast is about and the ingredients. For example, good afternoon today, I am going to talk about what people in El Salvador eat for breakfast. Salvadorian people eat tamales or beans and eggs or plantain, or they have pupusas for breakfast and they always have hot chocolate, milk or coffee to drink. Okay, that's an example. So you are going to say good afternoon. Today I'm going to talk what people in in China, in Peru, in Argentina, in Brazil, eat for breakfast. And then you're going to explain what these people eat, okay? So in this moment, I would like you to tell me the country you are going to investigate the breakfast. Okay, let's start with Daniel. Daniel. What country are you going to choose, Daniel? Sorry, coach. You have to choose a country. Um, Spain. Spain, okay. Spain. Catherine, that Jasmine. Uh, Mexican food. Okay, Catherine, Mexico. Mexican breakfast. Wait a moment, I'm going to take note because this is. I evaluate this tomorrow. Okay, Daniel says Spain, Catherine, Mexico. Okay, Nimia? Inglaterra. Okay, England, England. Eh, Daniela Magali. No sé todavía. Estoy pensando. Ok, Jocelyn. Grecia. Ok, Greece. Eh, Victoria. China. China, ok. Nancy Melanie. Cuba. Cuba, ok. Eh, Delmi Arely. Italy. Italy. No sé cómo. Italy, yes. Italian breakfast. Jeremy. Egypt. 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 Interesting. Egypt. Egypt. Yes. Karen Elizabeth. Costa Rica. Margarita. Brasil. Brasil, okay. Jonathan. United States. Oh, that's easy. United States. Okay. <laughs> Mayra. Mayra Arely. Okay. Uh, Daniela, you have your your country? Chinese food. Jaili uh, here in China. Uh, Argentina. Okay. Argentina. 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 Argentine, Argentine. Jose Vidal. ¿Qué país va a investigar el desayuno, el desayuno, Vidal? Sí. 
Si no, escríbalo en el chat. Ma Mayra. Bueno, ahí lo escriben en el chat, ¿ok? Perú, ok, Perú, Mayra, Perú. Very nice. And we are missing José Vidal, ok. ¿Qué van a hacer entonces? ¿Alguien que, me, ¿Alguien que nos explique cuál es la tarea? Investigar el desayuno en el área que, en el, en el país que elegimos. Exactly, what people eat in this country. Uh, if you want to prepare a PowerPoint presentation, it's okay. I will allow you to, to show a picture. For example, if you want to show a picture, it's going to be okay. Okay, so tomorrow you will have this presentation. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Now we have another exercise before we can go. Let's, we'll try to make this exercise, to do this exercise as soon as we can. And um, let's see. Do you have any questions about today's class, guys? So far, so good? Yeah? So far, so good? Or do you have? Yes. Any? Okay. Now, food and health, countable and uncountable nouns, my breakfast, lunch, and dinner by Jessica Perry. I always get up early and have breakfast at 7.30. I usually have some cold milk and... What is the best word before egg? Um, An egg. Um, yes, with brown bread. Uh, brown? But bread is not count, it's non count. Some? Some? Um, exactly, with some brown bread and a bowl of yogurt. Okay. At school, I have lunch with my friend at 12.30. I usually have... Ah, use? Remember, use is not count. No some. Count. Some. some. Juice, exactly. Some juice. Enormous sandwich. Um, and, um, an enormous sandwich, yes. And we have here number five, crisps, crisps. Oh. What is crisps? Crisp is like lace, potatoes. Oh. And, okay, some crisps, crisps and a healthy snack like an apple, an apple, a pear, a pear, or a grape, some grape, or grapes. I never grape. have any, any, I never have any, any, any because I can eat them. Okay. At home, dinner is usually at 6.30. We have a lot of different things. For example, we often have some, some meat with rice and vegetables. On Fridays, we always have a big pizza. Big pizza each. That's my favorite day. I always drink some water. Um, with every meal. We never have any, any. at home. Now complete the sentences with the words given in the box. We almost finished. Para preguntar usamos how many. How many es para preguntar con contables. Oops. Cuántos? How many apples do you eat every week? I don't usually eat uh, much food for breakfast. 
Now, food is non count, so it's how, how much, how much food is there in your lunch box? ¿Cuánta comida hay ahí en tu lonchera? How much food is there in your lunchbox? Richard has got a lot of sandwiches. There aren't many, many, many chips with this meal. Okay, finish our answers. And it's correct. So excellent. Again, congratulations. Pretty good job. Okay, guys. So can you tell me what you learned in this class today? You learned something in this class today? What did you learn in this class today? Oh, you the use some and any okay use some and any in sentences some and any okay what else count um in count counting non pronouns and also to make a conversation right how to make a conversation uh, for preparing a food, for preparing some food, right? Okay. Um, well, I have to tell you that it's important that you participate in this class because you are learning a language. You want to speak English. Do you want to speak English? Quieren hablar inglés? Do you want to speak English? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. You have to participate. You have to practice. Yes. This is speaking. Writing is okay is i mean it helps you but you have to develop fluency okay you have to speak you have to speak it doesn't matter if you make mistakes no se preocupen si se equivocan porque eso es lo más normal del mundo equivocarse pero así aprendemos pero si nunca lo intentamos no vamos a aprender Así que sí es importante participar y que si tenemos preguntas preguntemos si no entendí la instrucción Pregunte, que para eso estoy. Ese es mi trabajo. ¿Ok? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Tomorrow we are going Thank to study, we are going to study daily routines. ¿Ok? Cómo hablar de nuestra rutina en adverso frecuencia. Ok, so I'll see you tomorrow. Have a nice afternoon. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.